Welcome, and thanks for tuning in to this week's webcast of Ask the DAE. Last week, we spoke about encrypting text in Evernote. Now, if you have any questions about that, you can reach out to us at info at the DAE.com. Today, we're going to be talking about Dropbox. Now, many of you probably use Dropbox as a simple-to-use collaborative tool or as a tool to send significantly large files via email. Now, if you don't know what Dropbox is, I suggest you visit www.thedae.com and register for one of our Dropbox workshops. Today, we're going to be talking about hosting a website in Dropbox. Now, what's great about hosting a website in Dropbox is that normally to host a website, you would have to pay GoDaddy or Network Solutions or Just Host or any other web hosting service a premium amount of money per year to host your website. Dropbox is free. So as long as you don't have significantly large files in your website, you can host your website for free. All that you would need to purchase is a domain name. Now, if you're not sure what a domain name is or web hosting or any of this other website stuff, you can feel free to reach out to us at info at the DAE.com or you can submit a question for Ask the DAE by tweeting at the DA experience, hashtag Ask the DAE. Let's get started. Now, for today, I've built a very simple website using a tool called Sandvox. Now, Sandvox is a really simple to use web design tool that requires no knowledge of code or HTML. It's all text and drag and drop. It's very easy to use. You don't need any prior website building experience. And it's uh, not too expensive either, which is nice. But at any rate, I've put together a little simple four-page website that mimics the Digital Arts Experiences website. And we are going to export and host this website in Dropbox. Now, I've got my website all finished in the web design tool. What I need to do is get all the website files out of the web design tool. Now, whether you're using Sandvox or Dreamweaver or any other web design tool, the process is approximately the same. What you need to do is export. Now, typically, the export function is under the File menu. However, in Sandvox, it's under the Publish menu. You'll just have to see what your web design tool employs. So I'm going to export my files. And when I hit Export, it asks me a few questions here. It asks me where I want to export to and what do I want to call all this stuff and also the URL for the website. So export to, I've uh, just put the digital arts experience in there. You can put whatever you want. It doesn't really matter that much. And I'm choosing to export my files to the desktop just for ease of use. Uh, and uh, you, you could export directly to Dropbox, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna put it on the desktop. And uh, the site URL is just the .com where you have your website. Now, if you don't have a domain or a .com yet, you can really put anything you want here. It doesn't really make a huge difference. So let's go ahead and export these files. And as you can see, Sandvox is exporting all my website stuff to the desktop. Now, I'm gonna minimize Sandvox. We don't need it anymore. And you'll notice that I have a file sitting on the desktop that says the digital arts experience. And within this folder, there's a bunch of stuff. There's index.html, about.html, favicon, resources, media. Don't worry about this. This doesn't matter. All that you have to worry about is putting this stuff in the right place in Dropbox. So let's take a look at how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the file menu and select new finder window. The reason being is I can look at all of my website files as well as Dropbox at the same time. Now, in order to host your website in Dropbox, you need to put all this website stuff within the public folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the public folder. And for the sake of organization, I'm going to create a folder within the public folder called site, just so that all of my website stuff stays in the same place. So I've got my public folder, I've got my site folder within the public folder. Now I'm going to take all of these website files, highlight them, and drag them over to site. So now they've been moved from my digital arts experience folder into my public folder, into my site folder. Now, technically, your website is now hosted on the web. You could visit this website from any computer anywhere in the world. Now, you're probably asking me, how the heck do I do that? I don't have a website address to go to. I, I don't know what to do from here. It's actually pretty simple. All you need to do is open up your site folder and highlight the index file. 
What you then do is go to the Dropbox button at the top of this window. That's this little button that looks like an open box. These are Dropbox specific features. This will automatically get set up when you install Dropbox on your computer. So you highlight index, you go to the Dropbox button, and you have an option that says copy public link. This is going to copy the address to visit your website. So I've copied the public link. I'm going to go to Safari or whatever web browser you prefer to use. And I'm going to paste this web address in. And when I hit return, sure enough, my website loads up. And it's a fully functional website. I can visit all the pages. I can navigate back and forth. Now, you may be asking me, what's all this up here? dl.dropbox.com slash u, da 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 da. Don't worry about that. If you want to, you can purchase a domain from GoDaddy for somewhere in the range of six to fifteen dollars per year, and uh, you can call GoDaddy support, and they'll help you mask this stuff with your .com. It could be the dae.com or uh, greatproducts.com or whatever your business is or whatever your site needs to be. You can go to godaddy.com and purchase the domain, and mask all this stuff with a simple to use .com. So that's how you host a website in Dropbox. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at info at the DAE .com, or for some help developing a website, you can visit www.thedae.com and register for one of our web design classes. Now, if you have any questions or you want to hear about a new topic going forward, you can tweet at the DA experience, hashtag ask the DAE. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a great day.